Boom, 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 boom. Oh, my man did not read the card. He did not read the card, folks. When Jasper dies, he gets the last laugh. Oh, yeah, he was dead. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you, because it's something that I've been working on for a while now, I think. And that is going to be Rakdos Outlaws. Yeah, not so much the, um, not so much the, uh, token outlaws that I unlocked, or the, the Mardu tokens. We're talking about combo plays here that we never even thought possible. It is going to be the Outlaw Batch combination. What's Outlaws? Well, just remember Warm P. You remember Warm P, that's going to be Warlock, Assassin, Rogue, Mercenary, and Pirate. All of those are Outlaws. It's considered a new batch there. So if that's your helpful, uh, that's your helpful acronym to remember, our Rakdos Outlaw combination deck right here. That's what we're going to be running. So before we get down to it, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tender press that like button gently press that subscribe button because if you don't if you don't press that like and subscribe button well you will be attacked by the like and subscribe which you may or may not know is in fact a youtube werewolf who will rip you apart oh yeah he's just gonna claw you uh for not liking and subscribing to the channel and becoming a villain today join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash that villain day with for all the live streaming goodness we'd love to have you there live and in person on twitch or hit that bell and you'll be notified when we go live on YouTube. Yes, we stream on both. You can check me out either place is live. Uh, also, check out our Discord community for all the latest news, information, post your decks, ask questions. is the best way to join the community is on the Discord. And, of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want a copy of this Rakdos uh, Mercenary Outlaw deck right here for OTJ, well, there is the place to get it. It's right down there in the description. So, what are we talking about with outlaws? Well, we're going to have to talk about committing crimes. Why? What's committing crimes? Well, that's what outlaws do. That's what makes them illegal. Crimes are illegal. They're out of the law. So, what is a crime? A crime is whenever you target... Um, uh, a crime is whenever you target an opponent, anything they control, or a card in their graveyard is a crime. Anytime you do those triggers, anytime you do that... It is going to be a crime. You see that explanation right there, crime. It has a little jail next to it. A little jail door for your crimes are right there. So crimes are going to be removal spells. That's why we're going to go with three cut downs and three bitter triumphs. That's going to be our uh, direct removal. Now, you could do whatever kind of removal you want. Um, you could do possibly go for the throat. Um, that's fine, too. But I'm going with this one because I'm not real worried about discarding too much. And I'm going to gain life with this deck, so I'm not worried about the life loss. And we want to stop the early aggro. But you can uh, you can do any which way you want um, of that combination. But I think a six slot six slots for removal is going to be key. There's other ways we're going to do crimes. Don't worry. That's not the only way. But it is a good, direct way to pay for it. Greedy Freebooter. He actually has a purpose aside from ramp in this one. You're saying, Jay, you put Greedy Freebooter in all your black uh, decks. Yeah, I know, because Dark Ritual doesn't exist, and I, this is the best ne next best thing. One black and one one. He is a pirate. Remember, Warm P. Um, he is a pirate. He counts as a outlaw. Uh, when he dies, you scry one and create a treasure token. Great little ramp right there. Um, and uh, he's going to trigger any effect that triggers for outlaws, which is going to be a lot of them. Uh, we're going to have a couple of combination plays right there. So very, very useful pirate guy right there who is now even more useful now with the pirate batch and being the outlaw batch and not just for his ramp. Tiny Bones, Jones up. Um, he is a cool little dude. I think Tiny Bones in his cowboy form is his ultimate form. A tiny cowboy skeleton is just, it's peak. It's peak character design, okay? Um, one black legendary enchantment with Tiny Bones, Jones, Jones up. Uh, enters the battlefield, target any number of target players. Remember, if we target our opponent, that's a crime. Um, discards a card. Great or early discard. Whenever legendary creatures enters the battlefield under your control, any number of players targeting uh, targeting our opponent is a crime, or we can target ourselves. Mills a card and loses one life. So anytime that a, a, a legendary enters, they get pinged and discard uh, mills and discards. Very cool stuff right there. Really great early play. 
Um, so really, really cool stuff with Tiny Bones joins up right there. Vadmir, new blood. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of Vadmir here. He is a crime loving type of guy. He's new in town and he is here to uh, bite necks and have s crimes. Uh, one black and one, two, two. Legendary creature, vampire rogue. Guess what? Rogues are rogues are outlaws. Whenever you commit a crime, put a one one counter on Vadmir New Blood. Um, this ability triggers only once each turn. But if he has four or more counters, he has menace and lifelink. Very very useful guy right here. So the more crimes you do, uh, every single turn you can do one on her, your turn, his turn, your turn, whatever. Uh, he will get more and more powerful with the more blood he drinks. Charming scoundrel. It is a rogue. Uh, one red and one. You know this one is the Swiss Army knife of red. Um, haste, 1-1, one, one. we get one of these things, discard and draw. The great thing about that discard and draw ability right there is the fact that if you have no cards in your hand, you discard nothing, and then you get to get a free card right there. Create a treasure token, great little ramp, or we can get a wicked roll on somebody, because outlaws are so wicked. Um, and then that is going to give them plus one, and whenever it goes to the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. Uh, very useful combination right there for Charming Scoundrel. Now here's where things start to get new and crazy. I think for the rest of the thing it's all new cards for except for vein ripper um vile smasher we've seen this guy before he is a serious dude he is a goblin mercenary and he is awesome i love those bandoliers of explosives he's got uh and the burning cowboy hat one red and one black three two outlaws you see that right there outlaws assassins mercenaries pirates rogues and warlocks are outlaws it reminds you right there um Whenever another outlaw enters the battlefield, Vile Smasher, Gleeful Grenader deals one damage to each opponent. So, we are going to ping them for one every single time an outlaw comes into play, and we are going to play a lot of outlaws. We're going to have a couple of combination plays to do. Four of him, absolutely four of him, uh, is going to be a, a key right there. Rakish Crew. Here we go. Here now is a little bit of gain and drain. We want to ping people even more. We're going to make some mercenaries with this one. One black and two. When Rakish Crew enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one red mercenary creature token. And what do mercenaries do? You tap them. Target creature you control gets plus one into the end turn. They basically add to somebody's power uh, when you play, uh, when you tap them. So they can basically gang up and make somebody have a very high power, which is extremely useful. Why do we want four of these? Um, because the more of them, the more stuff that they kill of ours, the more life loss they're going to go through. So that means with com combining Vile Smasher, every time one comes in, they lose a life. And every time one goes out, they lose a life. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Love it. Love to see it right there. Uh, very, very useful. Um, so yeah, we definitely want that one. At knife point, here's another great uh, mercenary type of thing right here. One red, one black, and one enchantment. As long as it's your turn, outlaws you control have first strike. Extremely useful, especially when you're swinging in and giving a bunch of mercenaries, giving somebody like up to seven with all the mercenaries you tapped. Uh, you can really take it a lot of people. Now, we're going to have outlaw crimes right here. Look at this. Whenever you commit a crime, target creature, create a... Um, Whenever you commit a crime, meaning that if you target your opponent, anything they control of the graveyard, uh, create a 1-1 one, one red mercenary creature token. Uh, target creature gets what? It's only uh, It only goes off this turn. So now we're talking about cascading effects right here. Guess what? Tiny Bones hits them. Uh, that means that knife point goes off. We've committed a crime. Knife point goes off. We create a mercenary. What happens when we create a mercenary? Vile Smasher goes off. Um... When we when Vile Smasher goes off, et cetera, et cetera. So we start getting these cascading effects off of these comboing out kind of mercenary plays right here. This guy, this is my dude right here. This is my dude right here for real. Laughing Jasper Flint. One red and one black and one. Four three, legendary creature, lizard rogue. He is hilarious. Creatures you control but don't own are mercenaries and other in addition to other types. What does that mean? Well, he's going to steal. He's going to recruit off our opponent's deck. Why the hell not? Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile exile the top X cards of your opponent's library, where X is the number of outlaws you control. So the more, the merrier. Until the end of turn, you may cast spells from among those cards, and mana of that any type can be used to cast that spell. A 4-3 Lizard Rogue uh, for only three that basically takes X cards off the top. He has a Burning Duster, and two of these spell sword type gun things that they have in uh, Thunder Junction. Brutal. Three or four, we're taking three or four things off the top of Ops deck right there and being able to play them. And then they're all mercenaries, which means that when they go in, uh, Vile Smasher triggers. And then if they die, they, they're mercenaries, so they ping. Laughing Jasper Flint, he's enemy number one. I think he's most wanted right there. Um, 
really, really terrible, terrible card to, to, to do things. People kill him right away. Like, people know this guy is, this guy is hurt. He is an awesome card. We're going to see more of him. Very, very cool. Here is Hellspur Posse Boss. Um, I think a little bit of a sleeper. Um, because this dude right here is two red and two, two, four. Other outlaws you control have haste. Already pretty useful. You're saying that's not that great, Jay. Um, when he enters the battlefield, create two one one red mercenary creature tokens. Of course, mercenaries charge up people's toughness, as you know. So when you play him, because he's a rogue and he creates two mercenaries, he will trigger Vile Smasher how many times? Three times. Uh, he will trigger Vile Smasher three times. That's three damage by playing this thing. So two red mana and two does three damage and puts out uh, uh, two one one creature tokens with haste. And he's a two four on, on top of everything else. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot for the middle to late game to really throw down on the board. It hurts. And especially when you have to remove him. Again, Rakish Crew makes it hard to remove him and makes things more deadly and just makes things hurt. So uh, really, really cool stuff with him right there. I really like a Hel uh, Hellspur. He's also called Hellspur, which is awesome. He's another lizard. Yeah, we got a lot of lizard rogues in this one, huh? Um, and then here's Rakdos joins up. Rakdos is also my dude, man. He is the actual reason that guy is Rakdos. That's why Red Black is called Rakdos. It's him. He's like 5,000 years old, maybe even more. He's a demon. He's awesome. One red, one black, and three. When Rakdos joins up and enters the battlefield, um, return to a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with two additional 1-1 one, one counters on it. This is a legendary wander right here. This guy wants to hit legendaries. Whenever a legendary creature you control dies, Rakdos joins up, deals damage equal to that creature's power to opponent. That is the dangerous part of him. Now, he can bring somebody out of the graveyard for only five, but dude, anytime a legendary creature dies, it does damage to an its opponent. We're talking about if you bring Laughing Jasper back, he does six when he dies because he gets 2-2. Two, two. Um, he gets plus two, plus two. All the, if he dies, he just does six damage. That's it. You have to exile him. And that's every single legendary that happens. Guess what we have here? We have Vadmir. Uh, we have Vile Smasher. We have Laughing ja uh, La Jasper Flint. Very, very, very cool stuff right here. Um, very good combo. I've won games because people aren't paying attention and they kill somebody or something happens or they have to, they're forced to block Laughing Jasper and uh, they just, they, they kill him and he, boom, he explodes and does the damage. Very, very dangerous card right here. Hey, you know our old friend Vayne Ripper? He's back. Why? He's an assassin. Do you know why, do you know why we want him? You guessed it, assassins are outlaws. Uh, and we're already doing all this gain and drain right here. We're already kind of ramping. We're getting some cool stuff right here. We're going to play three black and three for the vampire assassin. Six, five. Sacrifice a creature. He's got flying and ward. Sacrifice a creature. So even if they want to affect him with any removal, it's going to cost them four life because they have to sacrifice one, which is going to do two and two gain and drain. And then when he dies, it's going to do two and two gain and drain. Not only that, if you have rackish crew, that's an additional one and one gain and drain on top of everything else. So very, very dangerous card to put on the high end. Great target for Rakdos uh, joins up because you could actually dump him with um, like Bitter Triumph. You could discard Vayne Ripper and then maybe turn three, four, or five. Um, hit Rakdos joins up. Boom, he comes in as a, guess what, an eight, seven. And then any legendary creatures that die explode for a huge amount. Um, and then he's just more and more dangerous flying in. I mean, very, very good combo. So that is going to be what we're looking for right there. Nine swamps, seven mountains, three black cleave cliffs, one jagged barrens, three sulfur springs. That's what we're looking like right there. Um, it is going to be a standard deck. It also 100% works in alchemy. It can be either one for your pleasure. Rogues, mercenaries, um, assassins, and pirates. Yeah, we have almost everybody here. I think the only one we don't have is warlocks. 21 creatures, 6 instants, 11 enchantments, 23 lands altogether with a 2.6 average. Do you want to throw another land in there? I'm not mad at you if you throw another land in there. Jagged Bluffs is not a bad one. Um, you could throw another red in there. I don't care. It's probably more black than red. Uh, but yeah, you could you could even throw a cave in there. If you want you want to throw a cave in there, I don't care. I don't care. Throw a cave in there. Why not? Uh, you could definitely choose. You can go wrong with rogue being uh, counterspellable right there. So here's the sideways view for your pleasure. Um, go for the throw. Cro caught in the crossfire because I know people are going to mention it. Um, that's that's not a bad one. Two damage to each outlaw or two damage to each non-outlaw. Uh, so that's your spree. You can do both for four, but if you want to really wipe the board, if you're going against like Boros Convoke or something like that, and you really want to wipe the floor, everything we have is an outlaw. It's not going to ever affect if you do non-outlaw creatures. 
um, it's just going to sweep everything that's two and under away. So not a bad one. Hellsburg Brute, I know people are going to talk about him. He's pretty cool too. You can actually get him down for one red. Uh, if you have four if you have four outlaws on the board, it reduces his mana cost to one red. Uh, and you're saying, well, a 5-4 trample is good for one for one red, Jay, but what what else you got for me? Well, throw him with uh, Hellspur Posse. He pairs up with him nicely because he's going to only make him two, and he comes in with haste. Not a bad one to do right there. So, uh, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Um, I actually, actually want to craft more of him because I think I'm eventually going to do a red outlaws with him there. So, yeah, uh, sideboard... You could definitely do you could definitely do those that's what it is guys there's a horizontal view for your pleasure would Karavik good for this build Karavik would be good for this build i don't know i haven't really played with Karavik. i know that this works everything else is going to be uh, a question leave a comment tell me what you think let's get into the game boys let's get some outlaw action going in turn myself up in the mix a little bit top decking late game land is painful yep it is. They actually moved the rotation, believe it or not. Um, we didn't have a rotation last year. It's going to be rotation in September of this year. Or er, August? Late August? Early September? Yeah. Wicked Falstaff. Okay, boom. Probably going to be Counterspell to removed. Again. Again, Counterspell, remove. They they cannot abide by it. They absolutely cannot abide by anybody playing any cards. What is going on here? I haven't played a deck without blue in it. I For how long has it been since we haven't played a deck with Sans Blue? And I think we beat him. It was a red deck and we beat him. That should pretty much, uh, should pretty much tell you everything you need to know right there. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful. Rotten Reunion. Boom. Oh, zombies, I see. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Boom. Let's do Laughing Jasper Flint. go in rotten reunion again fantastic love to see it they can't block boom how quickly is how how long is jasper flint going to survive that's our question right now that we have to ask ourselves is zero amount of turns zero amount of turns jasper flint is going to survive i told you he dies right away Boom. Necro duality, very cool. We get to pull some off the top. Champion, Arch Ghoul, removal. Play that. Um, so we will play Champion of the Parish. Bango, bango, bango. I told you, Jasper doesn't fucking he he doesn't make it very far. You don't he don't live you don't live too long. Gisa coming out at the at the end there. Uh he's got she's gotta commit a crime to do that. Uh decayed, block, block. Who wants to lose it? Uh, Hellsper Pit Boss, I think, is going to be the the tough one. Boom. Take action. No. Four off the top. Look at that. No way out. And he's out of there. Wicked Falstaff is out of there. He had a good zombie deck. Well, I don't know. He didn't really get some good cards. I think he was... Um, I was a bit overwhelmed on him. Those have been some crack draws for ops. Yeah, Jasper Flint fucks up everything, man. I'm telling you. 
Jasper Flint really fucks up Ops deck. Um, he gets the last laugh. Damavia, great pun right there. That surely is the top, the top pun of the night. Not a great opener, but why not? I, I sure love to go first one of these days. Jasper's a great card. I, I, I've I really warmed up to Jasper. Very, very much so. Um, oh, I just looked at my... Uh, I made the mistake of looking at my uh, plays here. What we played tonight, we played uh, Azorius, Mono Red, we won. Um, Esper, Demir, and then Demir. Balaji Archaeologist. Okay, so this is Reanimator Garbage. Oh, no, this is the Temer fucking Madness one. I hate this one. This this fucking sucks. Um, Let's do this. Boom. Discard a card, then draw a card. Let's discard Jagged Barons. Boom, it's another goddamn fucking thing. I hate this deck. It's fucking miserable. The Temer Landfall. Real fucking bad. Really fucking a pain in the ass to do. Yeah. It's Temer Landfall. It's it's absolute fucking miserable to play against. It's terrible. Strength, you can bring it back. Yeah, Temer Landfall. What's he gonna do? Yeah, I'm really. This is a fad deck. I don't feel like anyone's gonna really want to play this Temer Landfall for a while. Once people start to kind of figure out how to beat it quick, I, I think this one's gonna. Because everyone loves this ill timed explosion thing. Didn't see any play earlier. Now it loves to be played. Um. What's he going to discard here? Yeah, it's a really, really fucking boring-ass deck. It's really fucking boring. Cut down. We don't need it. He's not having any creatures on the board. Boom, boom, boom. Lethal Grenadier. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. They take fucking... Everything takes forever to fucking trigger out this thing. Nisa, Research and Animus. Fantastic. Virtue of Strength, Garenberg Greenhouse, he does that. He's going to be able to play it, and then play it again, and then play it again, and then play it again, and then play it again. I don't have the kill. If I had a, if I had not cut down and I could kill her, it would be really useful. But he's going to get this infinite fucking loot uh, shit here, which is really... Who made this, by the way? Somebody must have made a deck on uh, a deck on that. Who, who did it? Who do I have to lay this at? This is so fuck. And I'll tell you what. It's boring because fucking nothing happens, dude. Nothing fucking happens, man. Jack fucking shit all happens here doing, working this deck. Like, it's just watching them just spin themselves around 80,000 times. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Boom. 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 Um, we swing in. Yeah, block that one. Boom, boom, boom. That dies. Boom. Well, bang go. Boom. You gotta sacrifice somebody to get rid of them. A tournament with Slurgurk and people drop Slurgurk for it. All right, we're gonna do that. Boom. I do a crime. Creates another outlaw. And when I outlaw, I do a crime.
Hey, what's up, Ulu Jigurju? Ulu Ju 13. How you doing, man? Good to see you. He is very much not happy right now. He's not a happy guy. He wants to play removal on that, but he'll have to lose his Nisa. Yep. Yep. Even winning, that was an unpleasant game to play. You have to... It, and honestly, it's it's a really cool deck. I actually really like the mechanics of it. Landfall is fun. Um, I wish you could do it with just Gruul. That would be more fun to me. I don't really like blue. But it's boring to play against because all the different combo plays just take for fucking ever. Um, that's the real problem. I love that synergy, but why did the combo instantly win the game? I see people playing high caliber decks like meta decks, super powerful decks, and they kind of stare at me when it doesn't work, and they just kind of stare at the board. And I have to feel like they're, I have to feel like they're looking at their cards and their deck and my deck. And just genuinely wondering why they didn't instantly win the game. Um, I, I think that, forgive me, Father Gascon. Oh, it's that sweet blood. Oh. Is it blood? Boom, boom. Oh, it's that sweet music. Oh, it sings to me. He's going to play direct removal. Faithful absence. Boom, 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 boom. He is playing control, ladies and gentlemen. He is doing it. He oh, he's playing Reanimator. He's playing Reanimator. Look at that. Who's he got in his graveyard to bring back? Um, let's do this. Uh, create treasure token. Boom. We'll wait. No attacks. End turn. Who's he trying to reanimate? Rakdos joins up. No, nope. I'm not trying to do him yet. Okay. Yeah, he's doing the reanimator with Rakdos. Rakdos joins up. Reanimator is actually pretty cool. I wouldn't have done it in a million colors like this, but Capper Doom put it in. Yeah, he'd made a really cool combo deck. The Mardu combo deck or the Mount. He made two really good combo ones. Uh, destroy a creature with two or less. Boom. That's fine. Okay. Rakish Crew. Boom. That's all fucking Capra does. Capra Demon puts out combos, bro. He puts out combo decks like it's his business, and business is good. That's what my man does over there, man. He's always hitting combo decks. Swing. Ding. Okay. Doom. Really not hulking metamorph. I guess he wants to get that out? Is this counterspelled? You know what? Let's try this first. I don't know what he's got there. All right, we do that. We do that. Swing. Hold for removal. Oh, yeah, Jasper Flint. I told you, Jasper Flint has no fucking... Uh, he has no fucking... They have no chill for Jasper Flint. Like, literally, zero chill for Jasper Flint. They will absolutely... He's on site. He is fucking on site. They, they fucking go for him. I don't know, like, how fast the word got out that you can't let that card live. But, uh, yeah, they're absolutely fucking on site for him, bro. Let's see if, um, let's see if this is even, I can get him out. Boom. Mill it, kill it, and drill it. Oh, look at that. On, on site, every time. On site, every time, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. They can't, they can't abide by a Jasper Flint, bros. They absolutely cannot abide by a Jasper Flint. Can't, it can't happen. He's got four mana now. What is he going to put down? He's got all kind of shit in here. I don't know what. Oh, he's going to have Willow's Reckoning. Rectus joins up. What is he going to bring back? Hulking Metamorph. Uh, 
Um... It's Jover, bro. It's never been more Jover. What is he going to do? Mail, 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 mail. Yeah, you should run that. You should run that Path of Peril. It'll be really good. It's Jover, bro. That's why we. I keep a, I keep a ace up my sleeve right there, man. I go and pops out. Try to combo off on me. I, I, I realized what he was doing a split second too late, and I should have killed it right away. Uh, that was it. That was that was flirting with danger right there. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a thousand angry comments about how I how I waited too long to kill that. I, it should have. Um, I should have got him. I should have popped his ass right away. And I realized that, and it went through my head. I need to kill this combo immediately. And I thought about it, and I saw it happening, and then I forgot to do it. <laughs> Ooh, this is a bad opener. I go first. Let's do a little quicker than that. That's better. Ugh. All right, well, I can do a crime. Uh. Yeah, I knew exactly what I needed to do, and I should have killed it right away, and I didn't do it because I'm an idiot. I'm a stupid, stupid, stupid idiot. All right, is that what you want to hear? Is that making you happy, chat? Huh? You, you like hearing me put myself down? Yeah, it's a new combo. I'm aware of it. I And, and I knew, oh, yeah, you have to kill... You have to... He he was waiting too long. He was cuffing too much shit for to 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 be cool, man. Soulless Strix. Oh yeah, everyone's getting off on it. Everyone, oh yeah, fucking call yourself a, a dirty boy. Yeah, fucking weirdos. You fucking weirdos. Whatever he puts down, it's going. It's it's dead. It's in the trash bin. I don't give a fuck. Oh okay, he's foretelling. Okay, all right. How's about we Jasper Flint it up? Let's see if he survives. All right, boom. Yeah, slick show off. Very cool combo. You can pull off a very cool combo with this and just immediately kill in like one swoop. And again, it, it, it's um, write it on myself in Sharpie. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. You just have to believe that I did it. Jayro, remember this auto saving. Oh yeah, you never want to see auto save. It's so funny they did a Rick and Morty about autosaving, uh, where he just autosaved all the time. It's like show off. So he's going to absolutely load up on guns and bring your friends. Ancestral anger, boom, boom. Just don't kill Jasper Flint, man. Just don't do it. He's getting some good combos here, though. Okay. Bango. And I'm going to gain the life back. There we go. Just a casual 12 to the face. Yeah. Slick Shot has gone up by like 300%. The card, the actual price of the card has gone up like 80,000% because people were like, whoa, what do we got here? Boom. Ancestral Anger. Let's do that. He's probably going to play removal on it, which I want him to. Oh, no, we have another Jasper Flint. Okay. Boom, boom. Welcome to standard. We have turn three mono red and four turn infinite combos. I know. The more cards you add, the more broken the set becomes. The reason that's why that's why historic and timeless are like that is because there's so many fucking options. When you're able to, when you're able to combine that much shit, 
you um he's gonna he's gonna pummel the fuck out of me right here holy shit felonious rage boom boom can he do it felonious rage boom boom nine you got it absolutely he's gonna never never didn't have it never didn't have it look at that first 18 cards he got two of them and all he had is pump ups with the hope that he could draw a slick shot slick shot is fucking busted they're like they said with slick shot they were like what if we made prowess but it got rid of that piece of shit uh we got rid of that fucking useless useless ass fucking toughness and just put it all into fucking damage That's, that's what they said. They were like, Prowess is cool, but what if we just doubled the damage that it did? That certainly won't make fucking Mono Red even more aggressive than it is. That, I think that's pretty balanced. Generally speaking, it's pretty balanced that if we made it just like unbelievably hyper aggressive, I think that's, that's balanced. Yeah, and also made it flying and also let you cast it for nothing if you prepay it. So that when you cast it, you can cast it for nothing and immediately start pouring down insanity. Just absolutely laying fucking fire on people. Um, what if we did that? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Boom. Let's do Vile Smasher. Doom. 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 No attacks. Probably Kill Spell. I would imagine that he's going to play Kill Spell. We got a lot of mana here. We don't need it. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, Devil. Discard a card. Absolutely, I will. I don't need all this mana. Fantastic. Great. Boom. Hello, 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 hello. Who's he gonna pop? Yeah, pop him. I love, I love getting... Uh, I love getting... Oh, Posse Boss. That's a good one. I love getting fucking a free mana and a scry off the top. Each Doom. Discard a card. I'll decline. I'll take it. Grave for Grenadier. Boom. One Tide Harvester. Knife Point. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't make it. Don't make it. Oh. See? You made a mistake. Boom. I should have left it. I shouldn't have gone after him. Two life. Knife point. I need a red mana. What's my chances of a red mana popping? 26%. Uh, decline. Boom. No. Well, could have committed a crime. really need a red mana. If I got a red mana, a lot of my problems would be solved right now. I really need a Jasper Flint in the, uh, not Jasper Flint, but uh, whatchamacallit in there. Uh, I need, um, what's his face? I needed this guy. Really fucked me up by getting rid of him. 
How did he even cast him? I'm not even sure how he did that. Brotherhood's end. Ooh, that's gonna cost you. Boom. Okay. Alright, he's got his four drop now. Which is apparently nothing. Okay. Auto paying. Oh, he used the treasure. Yeah. That's how he did it. Boom. Who's he going to ping? He's got a removal in here somewhere. He's got some for me. Shelter's Edict. Sacrifice creature token. It's a good way to lose a life, man. Boom, boom. Five drop. Boom. Good way to lose a good way to lose a life. Okay, we do that. Rakish crew doing work right now. Rakish crew really doing work. He he keeps trolling removal on it and it keeps hurting him. Hey, there, there's my dude. There's my dude. Keeps hurting you, dude. No, we don't want that. Alright. He gets one off the top. Alright, he gets Evasion of Asgol. He's probably going to play that. Try to force a sacrifice. Laughing Jasper. How long do you think he's going to live? You think he's going to live? Chandra, Hope's Beacon. Holy shit. That's a big boy. Two combinations of mana in any color. I would have done the burn up. Um, he's gonna do Asgol. What a real Asgol this guy is, am I right? Rakish crew, Rakdos joins up. View battlefield. Yeah, absolutely, I want that. View browser, yes, I want that. I want that bad, like, I hope he swings in. Free freebooter. Boom. Off the top. Crime. Invasion of Asgol. Ooh, that's a lot of juicy stuff right there. Ooh, that's a lot of juicy shit. Real fucking juicy. Uh, Hellspur boss. Um... Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, my man did not read the card. He did not read the card, folks. When Jasper dies, he gets the last laugh. Oh, yeah, he was dead on board. Rakdos v. Rakdos, love to see it. Rakdos v. Rakdos. I had the better Rakdos than his Rakdos. I racked up the more Rakdos Dactos with his Tactos Dactos. Don't and Toss, speaking of Rakdos. Not only are you playing mono blue fucking nonsense, you're taking a long time to do it. I, 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 you can't make me scoop from a game faster than being a slow player who's also playing blue. Like, you couldn't have come up with a worse combination to, to, to deal with me.
it's very rare to see that deck with caverns of ixalan and the um the cave of cavern of souls it has really fallen out of favor hey what's up buggy man 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 i didn't even notice you there buggy man i've been i've been focusing too hard i've been hustling too goddamn hard to even notice buggy man 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 uncle frump laughing jasper Lord save me from slow players, I swear. Um, let's do this. Probably. Oh, didn't get counterspell. Monastery member and probably Geralt. Blue. What is he gonna put down? Please tap out all your mana. It would be the best thing in the world if you did. If you just tapped out all your mana to play something crazy. It would literally make me as happy as a person could. That's a counter spell. What have we got off the top? Nothing. Um, floating in limbo here. Probably a attack damager. Apparently, no, he has nothing. He's just gonna play a removal kill card. Like a depopulate. No, a temporary lockdown. No, that didn't work, dude. That didn't work. Karambas, yeah, if you just literally sit there and stare at me, yeah, I'm gonna get bored and leave. Um, I'm actually a very patient person, generally speaking, but when it comes down to arena, for whatever reason, it all goes out the fucking window. When, especially when I see you have one untapped mana and you're you're losing priority. Um, you're just burning priority for no reason. It, it just infuriates me. If you're legitimately, if we're late in the game and there's all kind of stuff going on and you're playing slow, it's one thing. Like, when you hold up game, uh, like, initially for no goddamn reason, there's one thing you could do and you're just staring at me. I feel like I'm not wasting my time on this. Uh, okay, so he's going to put down Quintessential Druid or whatever the fuck he's called. We're going to kill him because he's stupid. Boom. Yeah. Exile and return. Boom. Tally's favor. Good card. I'm finally, I'm glad people are finally playing that card. Guy's gift. Kind of dumb. Not great. He's going to put it in his hand. Swing, man. Yeah, there you go. El Paz Bossy. This guy is not bad for generating two... For immediately generating a bunch of fucking tokens. And everybody, all the mer all the outlaws get haste. It's not a bad card. I, I think he's, he's going to be one of those overlooked cards that people are just not thinking that he's... He's much chop. I think he's chop. Monster's Rage. Oh, really building it up here. Really, really, really flaring it up. Yeah, yeah really loading him up with sub sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Loading him up, man. There you go. I can block four of that. I mean... Boom, boom. 
Good game. Why good game? I don't understand. And turn. What could he possibly have the good game in here? Squee Dubious Monarch. Yeah, I guess it is a good game, isn't it? He's just gonna make it invincible. All right, early removal. I'm on the play. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Jagged Barons. You put down File Smasher. Children's Edict, naturally. Why not? Ping. Ding. Bay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Treasure token. Why not? We got the removal. Grixis. My man Grixis. Okay. Boom. Alright. I think Rakdos joins up. It's going to be a pretty good combo right here for Cameron Bat. Prime. Boom. Boom. Hey. Keep camera. He gets to look at my hand. Boom. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see if he has a counter spell, shall we? He may. He does not. Very mastermind, very nice. Boom, boom, hit, hit. Okay. Eight damage if I, uh... What do we got here? Hey, what's up, Mass Massachusetts? You watched your dragon deck, my dragon deck video earlier? What'd you think? Was it good? Only thing that's saving him is an exile. No, that's an instant kill. Boom. Breaks it. Cookies, by the way, um, I was laughing. I forgot to tell you the other day. I was looking at an old Grixis video of mine or replying to a comment, and the top comment on the video is you going, Wizards of the Coast told me that Grixis was useful. I'm literally shitting and pissing and crying right now. I'm, what did you say? I'm literally shitting and farting and crying right now. <laughs> that little splash of blue, absolutely. It's great for protection. It's great for counter spells. Um, it's uh, it does help the video. It, it does help the uh, the combination go off quite nicely. 
uh, you do need protection. Yeah, it's on my Grixis video. I was going to show it to you because it's so funny. It says, Wizards of the Coast told me that Gr uh, Grixis was a piece of shit now. I'm literally shaking and crying and par farting and shitting. <laughs> It's really funny. Uh, <laughs> it's very funny. It's a very funny uh, comment. I gotta find it. It's on my Grixis video. by a dragon yeah let's take a look comments top comment what's the top comment where's the where's the cookies comment doom doom boom, 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 boom. I don't even see it where the fuck is it a good way to lose a shitload of life, dude. Yeah, we'll take that. Lose life. Ten. Um, discard a card, then draw a card. It's Jasper Flint. Boom. Okay. Air tide. Great way to get killed. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Wow, look at that. Invasion of Zendikar. I thought what I thought Wizards of the Coast made Grixis a little. I'm literally shitting and farting, right? I'm literally farting and shitting. Uh Ops draws a card. Alright. Fantastic. Lethal Grenader. If he dies, I win the game. Unless he has some that gains life while killing, unless he has that. Gold vein hydra. Literally gonna kill him off the off the muscle right there. Boom. Very nice. Kilumini kilu kilu kilumini in air. Woof. I switch between alchemy and standard. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up right there for tonight. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for joining us tonight on J Villain Magic Channel. Um, Esteem Bun said, oh, that deserves a standing ovation clap. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Um, this deck, a lot of fun, a lot of tricks, a lot of outlaws, outlaws to the end. Uh, until next time, guys, I've been J Villain. And you, well, you guys, you guys have been great. Bye-bye. Outlaws to the end.